Uh, Tony, Northern Westphalia, a very industrial state, traditionally an SPD stronghold. How does it look for this Sunday? Well, it looks like, uh, Matt, it looks like uh, Merkel, uh, or actually her party in this case, since she's not running herself, obviously, that the CDU could pull out a victory here, which would be a big upset. They've done it only once before in this state in 50 years, showing you how much of a social democratic stronghold it is. And the polls do suggest that the government that's in power now, which is led by the SPD in North Rhine-Westphalia, would not have a majority. In other words, would be voted out on Sunday if the numbers hold up. Yeah, interesting then. We'll watch what happens on Sunday and then make the necessary read across into the vote in September, Tony. Uh, let's turn to the economy of Germany. GDP figures out this morning, 0.6% then. What does that tell us about the state of the German economy or indeed the, the broader Eurozone economy? Well, it tells you, I guess it tells you two things. I mean, that, that Germany is still the anchor of, of, of the Eurozone, which, uh, which I suppose is not much of a surprise. It also tells you something about Merkel's, uh, about the, 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 the climate surrounding Merkel's campaign for a fourth term. It's a feel-good economy. You can surely say that uh, voters are not always driven by the economy, but it, there, there's no sense of, of sort of economic trouble in Germany that would give you a mood that for change, also. if you like. New Europe. So that that is obviously a plus for Merkel as well. And as we know and have reported uh, many times, unemployment in Germany is has been at record lows uh, for months or even years now. So it's all uh, adding up to a very good picture for the incumbent, I think that's safe to say, uh, as we head toward the uh, election in September.